Hi everybody, how are you doing? Welcome to today's lesson on the UNCRC. And today I'm going to talk about Article 8 and 9 together. Article 8 is all about the preservation of the child's identity. And Article 9 talks about the separation from parents. Last week I spoke about Article 7 of the UNCRC. Article 7 was talking about the right to the right of the child from birth to a nationality and to an identity. So article 8 and 9 they are very closely related to article 7. Okay, I also mentioned the specific case last week of a Nigerian lady who was deported from Germany with her three children. So the German government in that case could argue that they are fulfilling Article 8 of the UNCRC where they are renewing family ties of the children to their nationality because of course both parents are Nigerians. But we know that in reality this is um these are very touchy cases and of course we know when it involves migration many people because of economic or political reasons they prefer to take um the identity or the nationality of the country that they live in for various reasons that's why these cases are judged on individual basis also, Article 9 of the UNCRC that talks about the child should not be separated from the parent unless it is in the best interest of the child. So unless the child is being abused or the child or something that is very um, severe that affects the well-being of the child, normally the child is not separated from parents or from other relatives, family members, even in some cases community members. The child should not be separated. Even in situations where a parent might end up in prison for one reason or another, the child have the right to see the parent if it's according to the if it's not endangering the best interests of the child so article 7 8 and 9 of the uncrc they're talking about the right of the child to a nationality the right the state should ensure the preservation of the child's nationality also, it's talking about the child having bond with parents. They should not be separated from parents unless it goes against their well-being. So this is it for today. Thank you. But also what is important to know is that these issues, they are judged on individual basis. Individual case by case basis so that's why i specifically mentioned that individual family last week from nigeria who was deported from germany because there are many complications so maybe one other family with a similar case was allowed to stay in germany because the cases they are judged on on an individual basis so thank you and have a nice week.